We're going to explain how to run an X-Force keygen as administrator in Windows 11. Remember, using keygens to obtain software illegally is risky and against the law. This explanation is for educational purposes only, and I do not endorse or encourage software piracy. Proceed at your own risk. If you choose to proceed, here's how to attempt running the keygen with administrator privileges. 1. Locate the keygen. First, find the keygen file on your computer. It will likely have an extension like AAXE, or a similar executable file extension. 2. Right-click the keygen. Once you've located the keygen file, right-click on it. This will bring up a context menu. 3. Select Run as Administrator. In the context menu, you should see an option that says Run as Administrator. Click on this option. 4. User Account Control, UAC. Prompt, Windows. The 11th of May, display a User Account Control, UAC prompt, asking for your permission to allow the keygen to make changes to your computer. Click Yes to proceed. If you don't see this prompt, it's likely your UAC settings are low, which can be adjusted through system settings. 5. Keygen. Execution. If everything goes as planned, the keygen should now run with administrator privileges. However, this doesn't guarantee it will function correctly. Keygens are often poorly made, unstable, and may contain malware. 6. Important security note. Before running any keygen, it is strongly recommended to scan the file with a reputable antivirus program. Many keygens are bundled with malicious software, malware, that can steal your data, damage your system, or compromise your online security. I cannot stress enough the importance of caution when dealing with this type of software. 7. Alternative method, finding the file location. If you're having trouble finding the keygen, you can try searching for it using Windows Search. Type the name of the keygen in the search bar. Once you locate it, follow steps 2, 6, 8. Compatibility issues. If the keygen still doesn't work, it might be due to compatibility problems with Windows 11. There's no guarantee an older keygen designed for previous Windows versions will work correctly. 9. Legal disclaimer. Again, I want to emphasize that using keygens is illegal and unethical. It's vital to obtain software legally. This information is solely for educational purposes and should not be interpreted as encouragement for illegal activities. The risks associated with using keygens far outweigh any potential benefits. 10. Consider legal alternatives. If you can't afford the software, explore free and open source alternatives or consider trial versions offered by legitimate software developers. Remember, using copyrighted software without paying for a license is a serious legal offense and can have severe consequences.